Kim's behind the lines in three, two, one, go! And we're off for qualification match number 33. A few pieces of cargo going for that high hub. Red Alliance getting three pieces of cargo so far. They need five total for that quintet, just too shy there. Drivers taking control of their robots now. Red Alliance with the lead, 12 to two. Bit of back and forth action on the far side of the field as 7167 Spectrum Thunderbots making contact a little bit with Robodogs 3D, our friends from Granville. A pair of shots going into that top hub there. Good for four points apiece for the Red Alliance. Again, these drivers having to maneuver not just the cargo on the field, but the cargo of their specific Alliance color as well. That's 83-31. Our friends from North Vancouver sees their shot just go shy of that top hub. 288 going two for two on that last attempt. Everybody that's in the place, let's go. 7796 Breaker Robotics trying to break the action here against the Red Alliance, trying to slow down their scoring potential. But 288 realigns himself for that second shot as it almost bounces out, but is able to be scored there in that top hub. Under a minute to go, Red Alliance continuing to pile onto that lead, 31 to six, but we've seen bigger comebacks, folks, as 83-31 goes again for that top hub. Bounces just off the rim. TBD racing back towards their hangar now, prepping themselves for those rungs. That sound means we got 30 seconds left in the match, 30 seconds left. 44-21, already on that mid-run. Could they go higher, though? Breaker Robotics trying to do the same for the Blue Alliance. Their alliance partner, Zenmaker, getting themselves back to the hangar zone as well. 288, the Robodogs trying to find space there, but unable to do so as time expires. Your official results momentarily. Alliance taking the victory with a score of 47 to 6. Each team on the Red Alliance being awarded two ranking points, 7167, moving up on the ranking board to the 17th spot.